Hey, there's a lot of agents that feel like telesales can be a super complicated, really difficult way to make insurance sales. And making sales over the phone, it isn't natural, but I promise it's 100% possible, which is why I'm gonna touch on three simple steps to help you with telesales, to help you become a master of telesales. Now, will this include everything you need to know? No, I don't wanna overcomplicate it. If you can really hone in and get good at these three things, then you can become a telesales master and improve along the way. I would say the first step would be to listen. A lot of agents feel like, hey, I've got the gift of gab, I can talk a lot. So naturally, I'm gonna be really great at talking a lot over the phone, at being good at phone sales. I would say that the gift of gab, talking a lot, not listening, wanting to talk over clients, not letting them talk a lot. Sometimes a client wants to control the conversation. As long as I'm controlling it with the questions and I'm listening properly, then that's okay. But be good at listening. Step number two, because you know, you, you know I'm big on steps and keeping things simple. The second thing is, once you're good at listening, focus on building a relationship. That's the second big step in becoming a master of telesales. The relationship is more important than whatever you're selling or whatever it costs. Whether they like you, believe you, trust you, feel that you're there for them, feel that you care about them, that you're a genuine person is huge in telesales, 100%. So focus on building a relationship. Focus on being their best friend. Focus on getting to know them. Focus on them feeling comfortable with you. Because if they feel comfortable with you, they're much more likely to pull the trigger, to make the sale, to dive in, and to stick with you long term. So listen, build a relationship. Step number three, what do you guys think it is? It's important. It's to ask. Always be asking the client to do business with you. Most people, you can listen, you can build a relationship, but when it gets down to the close, are you man enough or woman enough to ask for the sale? They may love you, but you need to know how to ask, when to ask, and that you should ask. Because you can listen, you can build a relationship, but if you don't assume and ask that they're going to do business with you, and have a specific way that you ask, a specific type. There's tons of ways to ask. You can be simple and say, hey, there's these three options. Which one are you most comfortable with? Or you can say, hey, you can give a specific option and they say, you know what, let me think about it. And then you use the no callback close. Hey, we don't do callbacks. You have everything you need to make an informed decision today. You need it, you want it, you can afford it. You already have something and actually it's, it's better than what you have and it's lower priced, am I right? So I'm assuming you'd like to go ahead and take advantage of it and see if we can get you approved. Am I right, Miss Betty? Don't be afraid to be aggressive and ask. So listen to customers. Those are the three simple steps. Listen, build a relationship, and ask for the business when the time is right, when the relationship's there, when the value's there. If those things are there and you ask the client to take action and do business with you today, then they will pull the trigger, they will say yes, and they will stick with you forever.